Hey guys, welcome back to Green Country Custom Baits. Today we are going to be doing a remake of an old pattern called Sour Grape Shad. So, uh, David sent me this pattern uh, back uh, been quite a while ago, and we're gonna we're gonna throw it down on this shower blow lure from Shelps. And we're gonna be starting with the white base coat, obviously, and then we're gonna be throwing down some opaque yellow on the body. We're gonna leave the top white. Next up, we are going to scale in our purple sides. While we're cleaning this out, I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, shower blows here. Shelts has got a uh, pretty good market on their baits, and uh, what I mean by that is they're, they come at a really good price point. Um, it takes quite a while to get those baits in. I've done a review and I'll leave a link uh, in the description below. Now this purple over the top is gonna to be a candy purple. And like in all my videos, I'll show you the actual paints. As we finish up toward the end of the video, we're going to heat set these and just see where we're at. All right, got a fan blowing in the background. Hope you're not, we're not picking up all that commotion, but it's uh, the end of June and it is extremely hot here in the shop. I've had several people ask me about that as well as how do you... Do you have issues with your paints and different things uh, in these high humidity environments here in the south? And I really don't. Uh, at times, uh, uh, your paints uh, obviously do spray a little bit differently in the winter as they do in the summer. Um, but with Creatix paints, I've just I've not had any issues. All right, so our next pattern we're going to do is we've got a little bright red and we are going to do a little detail work around that gill plate pick us a pretty fine brush here I think how we're going to do it this time now this shower blow is a large lure so that I can use both hands effectively. I'm gonna throw it in my vise, move you up close.
So we got a red gill straight. So now, <clears throat> what really sets this pattern off is we uh, got some of this Poly Transpar Luster Pigments. Uh, it was sent to me by a good friend out in Vegas. Um, this comes out of, it looks like, Granite Quarry, North Carolina. Uh, this is going to be mixed in my clear coat. And it's really going to give that a purple sheen. Uh, you could also, uh, the old pattern. I uh, had some holographic glitter as well as purple glitter uh, to really set this uh, this pattern off. So uh, we'll show some pictures uh, at the end. So make sure you uh, stay till after most generally the ads run. Um, appreciate you guys if you would watch those ads. I do get a little small commission. Uh, I didn't. We don't get anything if uh, the ads are skipped. Although most of the time I usually allow them to be skippable. Before we end, I'm going to show you how we uh, put a little bit of uh, holographic fleck in the bait. And we do that with a heart rod, sparkle, and it just puts it down a real fine holographic glitter. So you don't have to add that in your clear coat at the end we'll get up close i don't know if you can see that it's weird looking through my camera that almost looks blue but that is a uh, got a real fine sparkalescent tough to see in the yellow i'm sure on camera but hope you can see that in the purple. some pictures in the final pictures uh with the good camera after this is it so appreciate you guys uh checking the channel out and again this is an old pattern matched called the uh, what was it called sour grape shad thank you for checking out green country boats see you next week